Hello, welcome to CG Turf. My name is Tatenda, and today I'm going to be showing you how to model a wine glass using the Revolve tool in Maya. Firstly, we're going to add an image plane. Um, I'm just going to hit space bar on my keyboard, or you can click this icon so that you can see all the views, the orthographic views, and the perspective view. But right now, we're going to focus on the uh, the X, the side X view, and then you're going to click on view image plane import image and now i'm gonna use this um this sort of like this blueprint style because i really just want the outline of the of the wine glass you don't have to use this but you know i like, want to create a wine glass that looks exactly like this so i'm gonna use this image you can find a lot of images on google that you can use then we're just gonna hit open. So now, um, we don't want this in the perspective view. So on the view menu, we're just gonna go to, actually now, on the show, show menu, we're just gonna go to uncheck image planes. Where is it? Hmm. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Really? image planes okay i'm just gonna uncheck that and i'm gonna press space bar while we're in like our mouse is on the side x and we're just gonna adjust this click the image plane hit w move it up so that the base is at the base of the grid like that so now the next thing we're gonna create uh hit create uh curve tools EP curve tool, okay. So we're literally gonna uh, gonna draw the outline, okay. and we want to start from the center because we're just gonna do half of it. So we're just gonna and draw this out. Let me zoom in closer. Okay. And when you reach the center, that's when we're just going to end our curve like that. And then when you're done, you press enter. You're going to hit space bar, go back to the perspective view. So this is what you should, be, you should be able to see when you're done with the curve. You can right click, hold right click and control vertex and you can adjust um, the actual points uh, to sort of maybe tweak the shape. However, when you're done, we're just gonna select the curve and then we're gonna, under the modeling menu set, we're gonna go to su uh, surfaces and then we're gonna select revolve options. And we just gonna go to edit, reset settings. So on the X, on the axis preset Y, we are uh, pivot object, the pivot, which is right here and then everything is fine and sweep because we wanted to go we like, wanted to revolve 360 degrees so that's fine and then segments maybe put 20 or 25 maybe i think 25 is fine and then curve range complete we want polygons and we want to use quads and then we're going to use the count we went to maybe 500 500 I think that's more than enough and we're gonna hit apply so as you can see uh, 
just gonna hit three I mean, as you can see like it didn't go like it didn't go all the way to the curve that I actually I mean it's because I think it has got something to do with the um, the number of polygons it can use so right now maybe let me let me just put a thousand to see if it's gonna be enough but first I need to undo this a thousand a thousand is so it's actually, like like it's actually closer so maybe let's put thousand five yeah I think this is I think, that, I think that's much better I mean that's closer to the shape that we want if you actually select the geometry you can actually under the attributes editor if you go to the revolve one uh, under the revolve history you can actually adjust those settings for example like if i start adjusting this this slider i can actually animate this if that's something that i actually want i mean so i mean that's just something good to to know a lot of uh, settings that you can change in here now if you actually want to render the the glass i already have a tutorial i'll just leave a link in this video so that you can watch the tutorial like in order to know how to add um the glass material if you need that i hope this tutorial was help was uh, helpful um i hope to see you on the next video and yes th thank you very much for everyone who has been uh, subscribing i've already passed over a hundred subscribers so i'm going to keep uh, giving you quality content quality content to help uh everyone who's trying to get into the animation industry so thank you again and i'll see you on the next video